Huh? Where's the second one? Susie! Susie, help me! Find me somewhere! Come. Sammy, what's wrong? Oh, Sue! Roger just showed me that spooky show! It's more disturbing than the Among Us game! I will never play anything again! Ah, I think I know what you're talking about. It's good that we can even make the scariest characters look lovely and cute. To the craft table! Let's go! Hi, guys! Can you guess now what exactly scared Sammy so much? Of course they can't, Sue! No one who's under 18 is supposed to watch that! I know, it's just Squid Game became a trend really fast and I thought everybody at least heard about it. Anyway, let's get to business. Today we'll need a needle, colorful threads, fluffy stuffing, and... a pair of really soft socks. But don't forget to ask your parents which ones you can use. Wait a second! I know where this is going! Are you planning to make a plushie? <laughs> That's right, smarty pants. Could you maybe guess which one? Oh, magic crystal! Give me a sign! I see… I see… Nothing, Sue! And how about now? Hup! Shimmer me cheddars! We're going to make a card! <sighs> <laughs> All right! Let's get started! First thing, we'll turn one sock inside out. And then press it flat. This way. Now we need to outline our character by drawing his legs, body, and arm shape. You can use a marker or a pen to do this. And what about his head in a terrifying mask, Sue? We'll make it from a second sock, but a little bit later. And in order to learn… How to do that, everybody should watch this video till the end! <laughs> And this is what we've got, guys! Now we'll take a needle and thread and stitch the sock up according to these lines. Be very careful at this stage and watch your fingers! Ah! I see that you chose backstitch for this step! Very smart! Very good, Sammy! I'm making one stitch forward and then a half stitch backward. But how do you know about this technique? Oh, please, Susan, I've told you a million times that I've worked in a fashion studio back in Tibidaba. But I thought you were cooking food for them. And didn't they fire you for eating their candy stash? Shush! Sue, is it necessary to tell the guys about my mishap? <laughs> oh, Sammy, I guess you never know which one of your stories is true. Guys, check this out! We backstitched every line and now we need scissors. We'll be cutting out all the pieces, leaving a border of about one centimeter. You should always be careful with sharp objects, people! Great! These are going to be the arms of our guard. Sammy, could you turn them out back to front? And this is our character's body. Doesn't it already look cute? Sue, aren't you going to do something about the heel part? It looks strange. Oh, this will be… the lower back. This way, the plushie will be able to sit. The lower back? Ah! <laughs> Okay, guys, I've cut out a little hole over here where the guard's arms will be. And now I can do this. It's very important to not rush and do this carefully. We don't want to tear down our plushie, right? Oh, oh, oh! Do I look like Santa? <laughs> More like an old and grumpy slime. Hi! And here comes the fun part. We're going to stuff this piece. You can use either polyester stuffing or cotton wool to do this. It's better to work with small portions in order to make our plushie equally stuffed. There! Keep going! Here we go! All right, this is how our craft should look at this stage, guys. Now we need to stuff the arms as well. I did it already, Susie! Can I sew them to the body? Be my guest! Yay! Let's do it! Ugh. Like this! I mean, it's done. Sammy, you did great. Oh, you even added a couple stitches to make it look anatomically correct. All we've left to do is make the head for our guard. This time we'll use a black sock. Great! Let's stuff it up. It's important to not make it too big, so this amount will do just perfectly. You know, Susie, you were right. Making this craft really calmed me down. I'm no longer scared of that squid game. Good to hear that. <laughs> Come on! Now we'll close this little ball with a few stitches. And we'll put it inside the second pink sock, like this. 
Don't rush and take your time. All right. Hey, Sammy, do you know what those symbols in the squid game show me? Well, the guards with circles on their masks were considered workers. That's the lowest rank among them. Then there were the triangles for soldiers and squares for those who were something like managers, so to say. Interesting. And which one do you want our toy to be? Ah, give me a minute and you'll see! All right! Guys, we're almost done here. All we've left to do is stuff the space between the head and the hood just a little bit. Like this. Let's attach the whole thing to the body. We'll be using a ladder stitch, which is alternating stitches on each side. This craft is quite simple. The main thing is to be careful with the needle. And voila! Not voila, just get busy! This goes here. Uh-huh. Now you all can check it out! Wow! Guys, isn't this plushie adorable? And this belt? Wait a second, is that my hairband? Oopsie! I'd better go! <laughs> Sue, stop it! What? Why? Look! I found one more sock! Let's make a crewmate from Among Us so that our pink guard won't be alone! Where did you get it? I don't remember having this. Oh, I, um... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, oops! I just found it. All right. Guys, we've cut the sock in half and now we need to cut out only the upper part. Done! Now we'll put these two pieces together and I'll need a pin to draw a silhouette. The crewmate ship is quite simple. Let's go a bit, huh? But I got tangled. I'll help you. Whoa! <laughs> Ugh, thanks. We can finally start sewing. You already know how to do it. Ideally, the color of the sewing thread should always match the color of the fabric. But I'm sure you guys knew that already. Now we'll cut off the excess. Oop. Watch your fingers, guys. And make one more cut to divide the legs. Be careful not to cut the thread. I want to do the stuffing this time, Susie! All right, just let me make an opening here. I think I can handle it. Here! Thanks! <laughs> I bet he'd be amazed by how much stuffing actually fits into that plushie. Suey so fit like a ton of stuffing! <laughs> oh, Sammy! Guys, I had to sacrifice one more sock to make a crewmate's mask. Let's stuff it as well. Make sure that you get an oval shape like this. You know, guys, after today, I really started to like sewing. Do you? Then give us a thumbs up! Guys, don't forget to hide all the loose ends inside. Ah, oh, what a nice pillow. Ahem. Oh, oopsie. I mean, here's the backpack, Sue. Here you go. Thanks, Sam. Guys, now our crewmate needs some accessories. What would you choose? I already made this cute hat for him. Now, who wants to take a closer look at our toys? that I like, I want to make all of them! But you shouldn't leave me without socks! Ugh! Guys, we hope that you liked our crafts today! Support us with a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Bye-bye! See ya! Hey guys, I've been meaning to ask you! Did you see where did my sock go? It was the same color as that plushy guy! Sammy! Sam, where are you? I've got an awesome craft idea! Sam? Where'd you go? Pokemon battle! Pikachu, I choose you! 
Oh! <laughs> Sam! Whoa, you are something. Phew, I laughed my socks off. <gasps> Sam, let's make a real Pikachu. Wow, okay. Uh, what? Anything. Even this sock will do. Ha <laughs> ha! A sock? Don't be ridiculous. You don't trust me? It will be the best Pokemon you've ever seen in your slime life. Let's go to the table. So, we take this sock. Actually, it's my sock. Sure it is, since I'm not wearing any. Besides, we still didn't say hi to our viewers. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Gee, I'm gonna go broke buying socks for your games. Let's fill the sock with Cintipon. So it is puffy and cute. All right, you are. Now we need to cut off the extra part. Be careful and don't cut too much, both the sock and yourself. I'll try, Sammy. Thanks for being so caring. Now, we need to strap this part with a thread. I'll show you how to do it. Is there any special technique? It's not that special, but yes. Besides, you have to be careful with the needle not to prick yourself. Oh, and I was wondering how they make toys without any visible stitches. It's so awesome, Sue. Thanks, Sam. You're over-praising me today. And what are you gonna do now? I would call this a neck. Uh, I don't really get it. What exactly? The upper part will be the head. And the lower part the body. Easy peasy. So bring me what we cut off this sock and the second one from the pair. Well, this done. Oh, my dearest socks. I'll miss you so much. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sue, what are you mumbling there? Nothing, Sam. So his feet will be two fingers large, like this. I thought you were crying. Eh, it's your imagination. The front paws will be bigger. We make them three fingers large. By the way, Sam, be so kind to cut out ears and a tail for Pikachu from cardboard. They can look any way I want. Not really. They have to be the same as Pikachu's. Maybe these will serve. Quite. I already see he's going to be so cute. Like me? Maybe even cuter. You saw this Pokemon's face, right? Guys, which Pokemon is the cutest in your opinion? Comment below. And subscribe to our channel as well. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. So I want to show a little too. Can I? Can I? Oh, okay, you can sew on the other sock. Make the stitches according to the lines. Sure, I will do my best. Once you finish sewing along the lines, cut the thread. And then, the sock. Cut a little further than the actual stitch. This way. Aha, Mr. Needle, you won't prick me. I learned from Master Stew. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It's a fact, not a compliment. Stu, can I take your scissors? I decided to cut all the parts as well. Of course. And I will fill the hind legs with our material. They're going to be so soft. Here goes the second leg. All right. Let's fill it with Cintipon as well. All right, done. Sam, how's it going? I finished here, too. Here, take it. Awesome, Sammy. You did great. Of course, I did my best. Guys, you don't want to miss another video where I show my crafting skills. Hit that bell button. <laughs> Sam, you are a craft master, but modesty is not your strong suit. While Sam kept boasting, I made these eyes, nose, and cheeks of felt. Oh, he'll be such a cutie. Check out what it'll actually look like. Awesome! Wait, why does Pikachu have no mouth? How is he gonna say Pika Pika? Don't rush. First, we need to mark the spot for his mouth with a marker. Carefully. And stitch it with a thread for embroidering. See? So your stitches look so cool. Where did you learn that? You really want to learn everything. I could have read it in a book or in a dream or maybe my mom taught me. Oh, I want to learn too. <laughs> then watch and learn. Hop. Now we just need to glue all the face parts. This way. This is easy. So, what should I do? You can cut out the filler for the tail from Fomeran. And we'll also need some felt strips for the back. Can you do it? Sure! 
I can't speak for you guys, but sewing calms me down somehow, and it also makes me sing. Pika Pika! The paws are sewed the same way as the ears. Oh, let's speed up the process a little. And... Hop! The hind legs need to be sewed up, so the filler is not seen. Done! It took me a while. I had to remake the stripes. No worries. The main thing is that you managed in the end. Time to fill Pikachu's tail with Boran. what you needed them for. Yep, by the way, guys, you have to be careful not to rip the parts. You better ask an adult to help you. And subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And now let's get to the tail. While stitching the tail, make sure you put the needle through the foamer in as well. You are doing great. Such a waste of talent. We urgently need to think about opening our own clothing business. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the future we'll do something like that. It's time to decorate our Pokemon. We glue the stripes to his back. Don't rush. You should glue the stripes nicely. But the cuteness of our Pikachu can't be ruined anyways. Guys, apply a little glue on each stripe not to make things dirty. Here we go. You still have some extra fabric on the edges. Don't hesitate to cut it off. I'm sure our viewers have a good intuition and can do everything perfectly on the first try. Then let's check it. Guys, write in the comments how often you do things on the first try. Sam, don't you think that something's missing? Uh, uh, oh, the ears! Shoo! What's wrong with his ears? The edges should be black, remember? Oh, right. We'll fix it now. Oh, how could I forget about that? Here we go. It's okay. We all forget things sometimes. In order to remember everything, one can use reminders. For example, there's a nice bell to remind you about new videos on our channel. Hit it to stay informed of new craft videos. Done. Check out this cutie we got. Oh, yeah. Who's this pretty Pokemon here? Pika Pika! Right! So, Pikachu's missing! <gasps> Have you seen him? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, well, I'll keep looking. Hi, my precious. Aha! Gotcha! Come on, give me my Pokemon back! But Sam, can I play a little more? No, we still have much training to do to prepare our real Pokemon champion! Sammy! In the end, those were my socks. Uh, well, actually, you can help me with training sessions. Two coaches are better than one. Let's say bye to the viewers and go train! Bye, guys! Pikachu, sweetheart, ready for training? Bye, everyone. Subscribe to our channel, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell. Today! An important question will be answered. Which pencil will the great artist Slime Sam, that's me, use to make the first line? This one? No, no. This one! No. Better use this one. Oh, it looks like this important question won't be answered. Poor artist Slime! Oh, I need to eat something. Right. Yes. Yes. There was one cookie left. Why is everything so high? Where's my little cookie? Huh? A 
cookie and a chocolate. This, this is good, of course. But what, what should I eat? <gasps> hey, Sammy, check this out. I want to sew a plush toy, but I can't decide which color it should be. <gasps> uh, Sammy? Sammy, come on, get up! Ugh, don't do that again, all right? I didn't know you had such a problem with choices today. <laughs> I can't even help you choose the color for the future toy! Oh, cheer up, I think I know what to do. We'll make a two-sided toy so we won't have to choose a color. Oh, this! This is interesting. We'll make a little penguin out of the blue sock. And the chocolate brown sock will make an adorable owl. Animals? From socks? Yes, it'll be fun. Will you help me? Only if I don't have to choose anything. Nope. First, bring me an empty bottle. Will do! Right. Okay, where are they? Uh, in here, I think. <sighs> Okay. Uh, uh -huh. And, uh, huh. Hmm. Which one should I take? Uh, green. Red. Green. Red. Uh, green. No, red. Uh, green. Yes, no, red. Huh? Uh, okay, this one. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Snow? Susie? I am a future oh. penguin, and I need snow! <laughs> oh, I see. I'll just leave the bottle here. <laughs> it's just stuffing for the future toy. Oh, I thought I was seeing things. <laughs> Sammy, tell me, what unites a bottle and a fluffy sock? Uh... <laughs> I need them to make a plush toy. <laughs> Very funny. Hey, Sammy, can you get me my sewing kit? From the show? Yep. Sure, of course. It feels like I'm an errand slime today. Okay, up. Carefully now. Aha! Here's the kit. Let's grab it. And go! Oh! Hey, this looks like cotton candy. No, Sammy, it's just stuffing. Floppy. And now I'll pull the second sock over it. Like this. Ah, there. Now I'll cut away the excess. Remember to be very careful with the scissors, as usual. So, did you know that teddy bears were one of the first plush toys? Oh, I guess that's why it's so popular. Well, now there are lots of different plush toys. Guys, which is your favorite plushie? Take a photo of it and share it with us. Look, Sammy, I sewed the edge. Now nothing will fall out. Hmm, it looks cute, but it uh, doesn't look like anything. Well, that's why I've cut out additional parts from the white sock. <coughs> Let's place one here and another one there. I need to sew them like this, but be very careful with the needle. Would it be possible to make beads not look like candies? What do you mean? Well, I always think you have some candies on your table, but then I get this unpleasant surprise. <laughs> you mean these candies? These are eyes for the toys. I'll sew them on the owl. <laughs> oh, sewing is so complicated. Definitely not for me. But you are great at painting. Done! Sammy, what are you doing? What do you need the brush and pastels for? You'll see! I may not be good at sewing, but I can decorate! And this little owl doesn't have one important part! Like this? Like what? I can't see through your hand! <laughs> Give it a try! Uh, I can't! Here! <gasps> a little beak! I'll sew it on and done! Mm-hmm, and a little bit more, and here. Oh, 
see me. What are you doing? Making it pretty! Adding the final touches to our owl. Oh, this looks so great! What did you use? Crushed pastel and a brush. Cool! And our owl is done! And now... Ta-da! Ta oh, a penguin! Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> sure thing! <laughs> Sammy, which one should we do next? A kitty or a panda? Oh, choosing again! Oh, poor Sammy. Guys, did you like this idea? Give a thumbs up if you did. And let's get it to 2,000 thumbs up to support Sammy. Maybe it'll make it easier for him to decide on the next craft. <laughs> Bye! Ah. Hey, what is this? Where is my real smartphone? Oh, here too? I can't even brush my teeth. That's not funny. What? Did I get into the paper world? You tackled it fast, Sue. Hello? <laughs> Sammy, I see you. Come out. Ah, now you ruined it. So how can I get out of the paper world? No way! You'll have to stay here for one day with me! Hmm, and what can we do here? Two things! Eat paper spaghetti or play paper games! First one is not an option, but I like the second one. Then let's make those games! <laughs> I knew it! Let's go! Hi, everyone! Sam is bringing all the pieces now and we'll begin! Super Sam! The Paper World King has gathered everything we need! Oh, the great ruler, I am ready to accept your gift. Wow, you took care of everything. But we also need some decor. And I know exactly which one. Here, pick a color. Oh, I am so honored to be in charge of this part today. Thanks. <laughs> I will start with the yellow field for our game, just like our character. Did you choose the character without even asking me? I'm sure you'll approve. It's our favorite Lala Fan Fan Duck. Ah! Okay, go on then. <laughs> Thanks for the permission. And our barriers are ready. Now we'll attach them to the play field of our game. Like this. But a simple duck is not enough. Can she be a golf player? A golf player? But why? I think something like a tennis player is a better option. Don't you think so? We can't make any holes here, and we don't have the right clubs. Then let's organize a circus! I can jump high using this thing! Sorry, Sammy, but that's a straw, not a spring for you to jump high. Let's focus on our pinball now. Do you want to see a trick? A trick? Which trick? Uh-oh! Oh, my head's already spinning! Look, here we need some obstacles. These two are not going to be enough, so... We'll add some more! And voila! How do you like it? Maybe our duck can do the pole vault? <laughs> You're funny, Sammy. We'd better use this for our craft. This will be the lever to launch the game. Now let's add some details. You said launch? Maybe it's better to do this? Fly! Oh, great. This part will also come in handy. We'll attach it here to create the tension. Give me that! I will launch the game myself! Aha! Check this out now! Let me just secure it here. Look what I've got! But I don't know what sport this can relate to. I know. We'll attach this piece here. It will be just the perfect fit. My ducky wants to check out the progress. She's our main spectator. Oh, cool. It's not a common thing to create a game in front of spectators. 
Today, we'll be the spectators and creators. <laughs> Maybe my ducky can also take part in the crafting process. No, thank you. We are fine without the ducky. I doubt that she can help us. But I surely need your help. Please bring more decor for our game. I have a shuttlecock! Because badminton kinda relates to tennis. Great idea, Sammy. I will attach it right here. Do you like it? I have another idea. Check out what I can do! Good job. And here's the place for our Lala Fan Fan Duck. And there are the rackets for our tennis player. It's time to start. What are you waiting for? Are you ready? Let's go. No, go here. Ah, uh, come on, faster. You go, I believe in you. Come on, you can do anything. Yes, a bit more. Yay, I won. <laughs> and we're moving on. First, we're going to need to choose the main character. I think I found the perfect option. Cutie Omnom. We just need to take him out. This. What a big mouth it is. What if he eats me? He doesn't look too friendly. Don't worry. He's kind. And kind of hungry. Maybe you can entertain us with some paper world stories? What to start with? Hmm. Too many ideas in my head. Is that so? Well, are there any rules in the paper world? We'll start with the main thing. All objects must be made of paper. Really? Does that include you and me? Should I be, like, 2D? No, I want a more voluminous game. 3D might work. Who said you can't? This wire will help you. Now get to work. Aye, aye, Captain Sam. <laughs> I'll just break it into pieces and we'll begin. And I will supervise the whole process. Ready? I am. We'll start to create the first barrier for our game from foam paper and the wire. Ugh, so much to do. Maybe you can help me a bit. It looks like everything's ready to me. Time to play the game. Om Nom is already waiting. Come on! We forgot to paint the bell! Take this brush, but find the paint on your own. Can you take care of this, please? You're the great artist. You can't do anything without me. Oh, the ruler of the paper world has to do so many things himself. Unbelievable. Sammy, don't grumble. Let me help you. I will add some cheese. See how our Om Nom gets more detailed. Okay, I agree. You're right. It really is coming out great. Awesome. It's time to play. Let's get started. <laughs> this game is going to be the coolest of all. I know for sure. Come on, slow down. Yes, no, here, back there. Hey, Sammy, that's not fair. We are in the paper world. Come on, Sue, I just played a little bit. Uh, let me help you. Uh-oh. Uh now we're talking. You can be very helpful when you want to, Sammy. Faster, faster, I can do more. Look at it. Whoa. Sammy, be careful. Even in the paper world, it's painful to fall down. Ugh, my head is spinning. I didn't expect such backstab from the paper world. In any case, we have the necessary material. And ready to be assembled pieces. I can also use traditional methods to create a craft. Hot glue, for example. Sure you can, but only under my supervision. Put it right there. I got it, Sammy. <laughs> Don't you think I knew that myself? By the way, I also know that we need to glue these side parts for the console. Oh, really? Then I will take care of the control panel. Hey, Sammy, I still need that foam paper. I'm almost done with the frame, so come on and bring that foam paper back. I'm on it! And it has a new look. You needed some buttons, right? How did you know? Without buttons, a game is not a game. That's because I'm the best. But remember, paper console, paper! Don't forget where we are. Thanks, I remember that. Let's find a background for the game. Are you choosing it without me? Make way, Sue. Oh, all the six friends. Princesses Celestia and Cadence. I would also add Spike here. 
But the picture's too thin. We need to add some cardboard. Give this to me! I know exactly what's missing. Uh, ouch! Tammy, be careful, please. The result is great, though. I told ya! You can't do it without me! It's so true! <laughs> sure! Especially if we're talking about the paper world. Yes! Don't forget about it! Here are the missing parts! Oops! You take care of the rest! Okay, let's conduct a functional test. Okay, like this. All good. We just need to glue a screen on top and we're good to go. Great! As ruler of the paper world, I totally approve. Let me just start. Let's go. Come on. Aha, like this. Ah, faster! Go, Sue! I'm rooting for you! You can do it! Yay! A little more, like this. Yay! I won in all our games today. A little bit more. Almost there. Ah, come on, come on. This looks like here, and that there. Hooray, I won! Hey, what's going on there? What? Can't you see for yourself? I'm organizing our paper world. I am the king. Whatever you say. Here's a paper king for the paper world. You, how dare you? I'm going to punish you. Take that, paper king. You can never challenge me. Punish only the paper characters. Bye, everyone. I'm going to the real world to see Raj. Bad Sam! Bye, Papa! Oh, subscribe to our channel! Bye, everyone! <laughs>